Now at this stage, I do recommend clearing away some of this salt. Mm. That is what fish is supposed to taste like. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Daniel Mann, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to do a salt baked fish. Now it may look complicated, it may look impressive, but I assure you the hardest part about this recipe is, well, cracking the eggs. You can use just about any type of fish with scales for this particular recipe. I prefer a medium scaled fish, like a snapper, or in this instance, a sea bass. So let's go get one of those. Thanks, Kitchen Dan. You want a bass? One and a half kilos? No problem. Daniel, ingredients have been collected. Thank you, that is the perfect size. No problem at all. I'll see you back at the kitchen. Do you think you could just gut it for me so I don't have to do it here in the kitchen and make a massive mess? Gut it for you as well? I've just come all the way out here and shot it for you. Pretty, pretty please with the cherry on top. Well, I guess because you are so nicely and I guess I'll be gutting it one way or the other. For this particular recipe, all you will need is approximately three kilograms of table salt, two eggs, but you're only going to be using the whites, your fish with the scales on, extremely important to leave the scales on, this will not work if you take the scales off, and make sure you gut it and gill it really well. You don't want any blood in there, otherwise it will turn the fish bitter. Before we get too carried away, preheat your oven to 200 degrees fan force. That's 200 degrees Celsius if you're working on Fahrenheit. Use Google to do the math. Into a bowl, you're just going to crack the egg and put the egg white in. Now to do this, create two halves of the egg and then just go back and forth and gently drip out the egg white. Now you don't technically need the egg white. I've done this recipe without the egg whites, but it just helps keep the salt crust together a little bit more so you have less risk of spilling salt onto the finished product. So I recommend the egg whites. Now the consistency that we're going for here is like snow. And if you don't know what snow is like because you live in North Queensland, think sand that you're going to make a sandcastle with. Also, word of warning, if you have any cuts on your hand that you didn't know about, you will soon know about them. So you're going to gently mix by hand the egg white through the salt just to try and evenly get the salt wet. That doesn't hold together like a snowball. So we need to add a little bit of water you don't want to go too crazy on this because it will get too wet very quickly. That's pretty good. You also want to make sure that your fish fits in the baking tray. So this one is borderline, so what I will do is just trim the tail fin up just there and it will make it easier to get a nice cocoon of salt all over this fish. Now we get the salt, make a layer roughly the same size as the fish, about a centimetre thick to use that as the bed, and then we're going to cover it all up. I cannot stress enough, you need to make sure that the scales are still on your fish. If you've got to this stage of the recipe and your scales are off, forget it, try something else. Nothing too complicated, I'm just making a nice even layer, about a centimetre thick all over the fish, and then we'll cover it up and throw it in the oven. As we said, 200 degrees, and a fish about this size, maybe 35 minutes. See you in a little bit. The whole point behind cooking it in this salt crust is to keep all the juices of the fish inside. So when it's cooking, all the juices that come out of the bone marrow permeate through the flesh and it creates this really moist, tasty flesh that's perfectly cooked. And when you take the crust off, oh, it just looks so good when you've got guests. Look at you. Now this is the fun part, breaking it open.
Now at this stage, I do recommend clearing away some of this salt, otherwise it can get into the meat once we peel back that skin. So we'll get rid of these big chunky bits and scraper bits off. The sea bass is perfectly cooked and I'm just taking a little bit off the shoulder here and it just comes off the bone beautifully in these lovely white chunks like that. I mean, does it get any better than that for cooking fish? I don't think so. Little squeeze of lemon. Mmm. Oh, that is what fish is supposed to taste like. It's delicate, it's almost sweet and it just falls apart in the mouth. And I know I've said it a lot on this video, but it's actually moist and that's due to the salt bait keeping all the moisture in the fish when I've cooked it. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. It actually makes a difference. Subscribe if you aren't already. And if you wanna grab yourself a t-shirt, head over to diveeverywhere.co. Thanks for watching. Cheers.